This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I am here today to do a post review. I have finished Beach Vacation. This is a big painting guys. It's 98 by 70 centimeters so it has taken me quite a while. I started this back in July and I worked on it for a bit and then over the summer I largely worked on some other smaller projects um, and then I've come back to it and done probably about half of it. Um, the, the remaining half of it over October and I just finished it the other day so I mean it probably took me somewhere between six to eight weeks all in all so quite a long time um, but it is a big beastie painting. Um, so it's from Diamond Art Club if you're not aware I did do an unboxing of this kit way back in about February I think I bought it so you can check out more details on there if, if you like the look of it when I show you in a minute um, and the artist is Jeff Haney and I cannot think off the top of my head if Jeff Haney is an artist who has many pieces with Diamond Art Club. I don't think I have any of her Jeff Haney pieces, but I'm gonna check and see if there are others and, and pop that up on the screen. Um, and this painting was the first one that I have ever had with this many colors. It had, let me get to the side to remind myself, 74 colors. Now I have paintings in my stash that have more colors than this, but to date, this is the one that I've worked on that has the most. So that was interesting too. Right, let me get this unraveled over the table um, and show you it as best I can. But I, I will scroll over it, uh, kind of pan over it in a bit to show you in a bit more detail because I am not going to be able to show you all of this in one go. But let's go. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. You know, these big paintings, once they've got drills on, they weigh a ton. Here it comes. Okay, so let me show you this side first and then I will move it around to show you the rest of it. Uh-oh, there's a kitten getting involved. Harry, please don't attack my painting. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best to work around Harry who's decided that he wants to make another YouTube appearance. Um, okay, so let me just move this over and there you can see the left-hand side. And can I show you the top? Let's try. It's a little bit awkward. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying not to knock my tripod and not doing a very good job. Oh, okay. I think that's the best I can do till I pan over it because it is just such a big painting. Okay, Harry, can you, can you back off the painting, please? <laughs> oh, and I wonder why all my paintings end up covered in pet fur. So, this painting has been an absolute joy to work on. It was a painting that when they did the sneak peek for it, the preview for it back in February, I was just instantly, I must have this painting. I need this painting. Um, so I was really, really happy to pick it up on release day. Um, and I think the thing that draws me in really, cause I'm, I'm not, it, it's not like that the subject matter is particularly personal to me. You know, I don't actually like camping much. <laughs> Um, oh my goodness, <laughs> Harry, I'm gonna have to move you. <laughs> Apologies for my kitten deciding to um, wash his rear end on camera there. <laughs> oh, you couldn't make it up. Um, yeah, it's, it's the bright colours for me. Every single time, bright colours are more likely than not to draw me in and I just absolutely love them. And the pinks and the purples and the blues and the yellows and the oranges and the teals and it's just, it's so, so me. I absolutely love that about this painting. Um, I thought it was charted, like rendered really, really well. There's a lot of detail in the painting, um, but I feel like it comes across really nicely. And actually, the way you're seeing it through the viewfinder at a little, little more distance than me, um, it, it comes through even better. Because of course, dime paintings are supposed to be viewed from a distance. Harry's now had to be removed from the room because he started chewing on a cable. <laughs> So yeah, it, I think it's charted really brilliantly. All the details come out really well. And even the things which are really pixelated 
up close, like this little cat over here. In person, it doesn't look great. It's kind of a blob of drills. But when I look in the camera viewfinder, okay, it's not amazing because it's still small, but it's very clearly a cat, you know, that comes across really well. And the puppy here as well. Like when I was working on it, I could not really tell what that was, but I feel like it's a lot more obvious now. I say that and I'm instantly doubting myself. Is it a puppy? I think it's a puppy. Let's, let's call it a puppy. <laughs> So yeah, rendering as ever, top notch. I really, 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 really enjoyed these quad drills. So if you look over this section here, the fairy lights, and let me just show you the rest of them. So they go all up that side of the caravan, up on the top of it, and then down, wrapped around this tree. And I thought that was just genius. I've seen quad drills used on other paintings. I've never worked with them myself. And I think the effect of them is just so perfect on this. And it, it would not have been as good if it was just four crystal drills. You know, it really needs that bigger, um, bigger drill for it. I, I, I love those. And they're fun, you know, I like working with different kinds of drills. Every time I had a section with some of those in, I would leave those to the very last. And then pushing them into the grid when there wasn't much space was really satisfying. <laughs> I love all the little pictures within a picture. I often talk about that in paintings that I've enjoyed. Because even though when I'm working on it up close, I might not even pick out what they are. As I work through it, I spot them and then I feel that kind of sense of completion of a little picture within a picture. Um, so I loved all the little things like, um, well, just all of them really, but like the deck chair. I love all the animals. I think that parrot in the tree up there was really good the underwear or swimwear or whatever that is on the line. That was funny. I was thinking while I diamond painted this, like I have never diamond painted a pair of pants before. <laughs> and down here in the left-hand corner, I have some flamingos. If you watched my unboxing of uh, Fabiola, you'll know I'm partial to a mingo. <laughs> and then over on this side, I think the surfboards are really cool and the bodyboard. They're like, they've got lots of nice joyful colors in them. Um, and the moon up at the top. Oh, no, you can't see it. There it is. That's really, really captured that effect of the kind of hazy glow around the moon, which I think is just so cool. Um, there were only three ABs out of the 74 colors, which surprised me a little. Um, I don't think it needed any more because I think there's plenty of glitz looking at it. And actually there was a fair amount of a lot of those ABs. So you can see, for instance, a lot of the green, greeny yellow one around here and in the bodyboard. Um, and then lots of pink down here. And then what were the others? It, there was a red, a pink and a green. Where's the red? Probably up in the parrot. Yeah, there's a little bit up in the parrot and a little bit down here and here, but not so much of the red one. It was more the green and the pink that were used quite plentifully. But then of course, as I said, there's the quad drill. So it, it wasn't that those were the only ones. Have I placed a wrong drill there or is there really supposed to be a white dot in the middle of that tree trunk? I might check that afterwards. <laughs> I didn't notice it at the time, but it does look slightly out of place now I'm looking at it. We shall see. <laughs> um, um, as I said, this is the first time I've worked on a painting with this many colors. So it was a little daunting at first. I'll show you how I managed it because I never actually did a kitting up video for this painting, which is unusual for me. But I kitted up into an art dot storage container with 120 bottles. So if you haven't seen these before, basically it's got two layers of drills. And what I did is because I like to have my drills on the chair next to me, so I sit on my chair and then to my right is another chair where I put my drills. I just had this laid out like this so that I could reach them all. And the, you know, the, the few that didn't fit into the first layer I had in the bottom section of this, so it was all easily within reach. So that was actually nice and easy in the end. And it's, it's encouraged me that actually it doesn't feel so very different having a lot more colors. <laughs> Cause there's paintings that I have in my stash that have a few more colors than this. There are paintings I have that have a lot more colors than this. And I'm daunted by that but this has reassured me that I can do it. And actually the same 
muscle memory thing that I've talked about before came into it. So I don't tend to organize my drills in any particular order. I tend to, in fact, with Diamond Art Club, just keep them in the order they come in very often. Um, and then I find that once I've done a bit of work on the painting, I kind of learn a muscle memory for where the drills are. So I see a symbol on the painting, I kind of know where to reach for it. And that was still intact, even though there were 74 colors to, to test me a bit further. I guess with 98 by 70 centimeters, I had plenty of time to learn them, but yeah. <laughs> That wasn't a problem. Um, the one thing that I would say about this painting that I did not love so much was the drill quality, because relatively speaking, um, and I say that meaning that Diamond Art Club for me has some of the best drills available. I absolutely love their square drills and the way they fit snugly. And it's one of the reasons I keep going back to them. So relative to them ha having some of the best drills available, these weren't the best for me. Um, I had my little trash pot and anything that had tabs or holes, as well as a few that I just dropped went in here. And you can see it is rather full. <laughs> I actually thought I was gonna run out of room in there. Well, there's a nice beam of light there to, uh, <laughs> just to accentuate it a bit. Early on in the painting, I was putting so many drills in the trash pot, I was thinking there's no way I'm gonna get through this painting without running out. And there were a few that ran a little lower, but actually I didn't run out of any. And at the end of the day, as I always say, if I get through the painting and I haven't run out, I'm not that bothered. You know, it doesn't slow me down that much having to take out trash drills and all that kind of thing. So as long as I'm gonna be able to finish it okay, it's fine. It's just something that's worth noting. If you did buy this painting on its first release back in February, you may find there's a few colors that aren't quite up to Diamond Art Club's usual standard. I'll try and show you one of the worst colors so you know what I mean. So I think that these oranges were the worst offenders. Oh, little hair there. I'll see if I can show you. <laughs> this lot that are left actually don't look too bad. You know, think I'm a fuss pot. Um, and it's hard to show you anyway because of that light, but yeah. It's, there's a couple in there that have bits, but like I say, they're not generally too bad. Um, <laughs> let me see if it's another colour and I'm just misremembering which ones annoyed me. Because I promise you, I'm not making it up to be fussy. <laughs> the black wasn't great, I remember that much. But I think the oranges were worse. Yeah, again, they don't look nearly as bad. Now I'm looking at them now. Um, but at the time, they did cause me some issues. You know, just where if you want to multi-place with them and you're trying to line them up neatly, they just wouldn't line up quite as neatly. Um, so yeah, that was probably my only slightly less glowing comment about this painting because overall, as I think you can tell, I absolutely loved it. I would love to work on more paintings like this, you know. Quite often, the bigger paintings um, will be something like a landscape that has a very particular colour scheme, or just, just in general, I find that there aren't so many of them that have so many joyful colours to choose from, and I love that. So let me clear this out of the way. And then I'm going to pan over this in a moment and just show you in a little bit more detail. As best I can anyway, I've got to figure out how to do that in the space available to me. Oh, one other thing that I normally comment on, confetti versus colour blocking. Um, I looked at this painting and I thought it was going to be a lot of confetti. When I started working on it over on that side, I was actually encouraged that it wasn't too bad. You know, there was a lot of colour changing. Um, but it wasn't horrendous and I was making quite quick progress. There were other sections as I went through it, particularly as I came further over this side and there's a bit more in the way of trees um, because anyone who doesn't like confetti or just doesn't like too much of it will know trees are generally a nemesis because they are always chock full of confetti. 
sorry, just saw a drill I needed to push down because Diamond Art Club drills fit so closely together. Sometimes the, the drills don't pop exactly, but if you don't push them all the way down, then they, they aren't in contact with the glue. Once I've pushed them down like that where I seed them, they won't pop back up again. Anyway, yeah, so there was a little bit more chopping and changing over here and the sections that I looked at and thought, well, there's a few blocks. They didn't feel that blocky when I was actually doing them, so they did go a little slower than expected. But overall, it, it was a good mixture. I mean, if, if you're like me and you say you want a mixture of colour blocking and confetti in a painting to keep your interest in both directions, I wouldn't say you, you could go too far wrong with a painting like this. I love this sun effect behind those shorts. Look at them <laughs> glowing in the setting sun, absolutely highlighted. <laughs> it's brilliant. Like I say, the rendering, spot on. So now I am going to rearrange things so that I can pan over this and then I'll come back to you and say goodbye. <laughs> Beach Vacation by Jeff Haney at Diamond Art Club. And I mean, I'm running out of ways to say how much I love this painting, but if this looks like your cup of tea, do it, just get it, you won't regret it. It is a really thoroughly enjoyable painting and I'm so happy I've done it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. If you have, please consider dropping a like on the video. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you've enjoyed what you've seen, please consider doing that too. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.